Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Flatware Creations. Gus Gus is my sidekick today. We're going to do an unboxing. A friend of mine, Lori, called me up the other day and said that she had a ton of stuff that she's been picking up for, from uh, garage sales and everywhere she could find online. So I just wanted to kind of real quickly go through this together. Um, so my unboxing video. I have lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. Uh, this teapot was really cool. It has a wooden handle. Um, so I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Uh, lots of silver plated things. We, uh, I'm going to be turning these patterns into earrings. Uh, all the little bits and pieces. Uh, these, this is pewter, I think. Um, I'll be able to cut out the little patterns that are in it, the roses and everything, and use those for earrings. She got a lot of dishes for me. I now have a ton of these platters uh, that I can make pendants out of, make earrings, bracelets, um, all the scroll work inside I can use to make bangles and earrings. Um, so much of it giant beautiful platters um, cute little baby spoon these are always fun these become wind chimes for us these are really cool they're gonna become earrings these little grape pieces here another teapot little creamer dish lid for my rain chains this miscellaneous little dish Ooh, this one's really pretty on the inside she definitely picked out some really pretty wow some of these I'll be able to turn into a uh, bangles or cuff bracelets. This is a big turkey, <laughs> big turkey book, uh, dish. What do we got here? Little so little coasters. These will make perfect earrings because we don't use coasters. We prefer tables where we can leave little wet rings and have a visual uh, memory of when we didn't want to use the coasters that we have. These are cool. These unfortunately are made from pop metal so they break and you can't really bend them so this will become the base of a wind chime the wind catcher part and sometimes if they make a nice sound, I'll even use them as the center pieces. So, that's the start of the silverware. Oh. So excited. More teapots. Silverware. 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 Knives, another teapot, some, pretty sure this is what's actually in here, oh. some salad tongs, we'll figure out something to do with these, I'm sure. This is really cool. It's a chafing dish. You put your candle there and then there was a glass bowl or metal bowl that sat on here. It's gonna go like this and I'm gonna make it into a wind chime. Nice pitcher. More wind chime pieces. This is a uh, musical bowl, a singing bowl. Um, 
has some really nice patterns on the on the edges. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to work that one yet, but I'll probably end up cutting those pieces out and turning them into jewelry. <laughs> Brand new shell, that's really pretty. This I'll probably turn into a window ornament. So it'll just get put up on the window and stuck there. And I'll have a couple pieces hanging down. Another platter. This is made from the same stuff this is, but I've taken these and made little wind ornaments. Pieces of silverware hanging off. More silverware. We went through some of this, but this is a lot, a lot of stuff. This was a, uh, a brush from what I've been told. Um, I'm gonna turn this into a little chime for her. Another dish. More silverware. Another dish. So my plan with these is I'm hoping to be able to take this off and turn it into a bangle, like a cuff. That's cool. Lots of wind chime pipes. There's a water dish or container pour thingy. Wind chime. It's a cute little leaf. Another little piece there. Ooh, this is cool. It's got legs and make a nice looking wind chime. Most of what I use, the silver plated teapots and the sugar dishes, that's all used for uh, doing the wind chimes uh, or wind ornaments. Uh, this is a gravy boat that's attached to a base. I'll have to figure out how I can make that work really well. A couple more of these guys. I guess she had a little bit of stuff for me. A couple more of the grape dishes. Now these are cool. These are candle holders, but more so for the wax. So once the wax runs down, this catches it instead of going all over your dish. So these would be cool to work with. This is another one of those pieces. We've used them lately as our, uh, the wind catchers on the wind chime, the bottom piece. So they're really pretty. So we're able to just use this end, and then this end will probably become a uh, table weight or something, tablecloth weight. Another dish. That one's pretty. Real nice pattern in there. So I definitely don't need any more dishes. This will keep me busy for a while. Well, that looks like a little, little dog, but it's not. See the bottom of the box. That is, I'm gonna say a a little mushroom, and it feels like it's brass. It weighs a lot, and it looks like it was hand poured. So there's quite a few spots on it. So that's cool. Seraphine is drooling over it. So I think I might have just lost that one. Uh, another one of these shells. All right, so that's the last of the metal. Spoke too soon. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty. Probably hang that just like that. Or maybe turn it into an ornament. 
pieces coming down. Do you have to lay on everything, Gus? Huh? Huh? Oh, more silverware. So I'm gonna do this. Spread this out here. Oh. So these look like they're part of one set. And so she got all of this for me, for us, and she. Uh, just wants a few pieces made for her. So I have a few surprises I'm gonna make for her. Uh, and I know she'll love them. Open, if only I had a knife. through all of this anyways. Let's just dump everything out. This is another one of those pieces. It's really cool. Oh, look, a little, little stir. That one is self-explanatory. That's all knives. Hi, Stuart. Stuart. No, nothing. Can you feel the love? 1908 pattern. Full of serving spoons. See a bunch of these little thin ones, they'll make a bunch of nice rings. Spoons, forks. I think the hunt for the silverware is as fun for me as it is for her. <laughs> she really, really tried to, uh, well, she, she does a lot of yard sailing and searching. We normally have shows on the weekends, and she's able to find stuff for us, which is really great. So we did look at these while we were there. So these pieces I showed her were sterling silver butter knives. So I'm going to turn these into a bracelet for her. And I have a surprise for her. I'm going to put some uh, crystals right here and so give a little bit of pattern to the bracelet. So these are fun. This is going to be a pinky ring for her. And I have pictures on my phone of a couple other pieces that I'm going to make from the platters. These are so pretty. But I can only use them for just a couple of things. Some more ladles. I have a, uh, a thing I'm working on for the ladles. I'm gonna try and make a rain chain or something similar to that with the, all of the ladles. I have a ton of ladles. New turtles. These guys are good. Let's see. Some bun holders, finally me a whole bunch. Some nice big serving forks. And I think that was it. There was two, another platter or another piece we were looking at. There's the other one. Um, Yay! 
Yay! Thank you, Lori. I have a whole bunch of stuff that is on my list for you. Um, we love getting silverware and things. Um, a lot of our friends will just send us a box and uh, leave a little note in there. Can I get a couple of bracelets or some pendants or something? And we have a lot of fun doing that. We have shows on the weekends, so we don't get to get to a lot of estate sales or yard sales or things like that. So this is one of the things our awesome friends do for us. And Sarah, do you think I should take a uh, silverware shower? <laughs> that was probably quite dangerous. <laughs> Well, the knives are all over there. <laughs> well, I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for spending this time with me. And we will see you later. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.